Okay, this is the 87. For those of you who don't know, the Fluke 87. This is the uh, uh, the the first version of the 87s. I believe the 87 went up to version five. I don't, I'm not sure if there was a version two, but uh, uh, the three is uh, the three can be found, and there's a four, and there's a 87V for five, um, and this one is uh, you know sporting the. Uh, the version 5 cover even though this is the uh, first version and uh, you know these multimeters have been revised time and time again over the years I dare call this one a classic uh, Fluke claims that these uh, I think the uh, production uh, started or uh, they they became available in the market in uh, 1987 um, and I don't know if the 87 has anything to do with the date um, or the, the, the year but, um, you know, some of the revisions were, you know, this uh, blue button that corresponds to the uh, uh, blue symbols here. That was changed to yellow, and so were the symbols. And then the yellow button for the light uh, was changed to gray, just like the rest of the other buttons. And they kind of removed the uh, little red lightning bolt there. Um, you know, um, Fluke, Fluke has a history of, um, you know, making good reliable multimeters and uh, this one has a magnetic uh, a strip here where you can you know hold it to the panel if you like um, and it has a little kickstand here just in case you want to stand it up straight and it doesn't fall back uh, which is pretty nice looking into into this uh, multimeter this is a protective jacket and uh, these uh, multimeters were known to be I think it's IP41 or 42 uh, rated where if it started to rain outside it wouldn't mess up your multimeter um, because there was a uh, there was you know seals here there's rubberized seals here and uh, there's also some over where the probes go um, and um, you know this uh, and here they give you a little quick reference um, just in case you needed uh, you forgot something and on the back here they had these little easy going power up options um, and the uh, corresponding buttons that you would uh, press while you're holding down for two seconds and turning it on. Uh, Fluke uh, made multimeters uh, for the uh, military and uh, this one just happens to be one of them that was sitting with the military for some time. It was calibrated in December 2012 and um, to remove the battery on this one you just remove the three screws here and you take the lid out and uh, replace the battery and uh, with the newer version it, uh, it has a little I guess a little lid back over here where you just remove that and it makes it a little bit easier um, looking at the looking at the at the light this one has a green backlit and I want you guys to see it because the newer version has uh, more of a of a white light and I'm just going to shut off the lights here, just for a brief moment. And um, looking at the manual here, how old is this one? Uh, since I dare call it a classic, um, well, I'm going to go with 92 on this one. And this is when uh, Fluke and Phillips made a merge. Um, not in 92, but earlier than that. And. Um, it also came with some leads here, and uh, I typically don't use this one. This one's more of a collectible rather than uh, something uh, you know, that I would uh, use. It's, it's such an, it's, it's, the shape is, uh, the condition is really good, so I just don't want to mess it up. Um, these are the original Fluke leads, and uh, these leads are very popular for, you know, having some flex even when it does get cold where other uh, leads, they, they stiffen up. And I don't know if these are the original alligator clips, but they fit very well. And uh, it came with a uh, a K-type uh, temperatures, uh, you know, little little lead here. I think that's all I got, guys. I hope you like this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.